Your position on marijuana is pretty well documented. What's your attitude about drug laws other than pot? Heroin, crack cocaine, what? what, what? Well, well, the only drug that I'm advocating legalizing is marijuana. Mm -hmm. But I think we're at a tipping point on this issue. I think Colorado may lead the way this fall with the, with the, uh, with what's on the ballot there, regulate marijuana like alcohol. But I think when we legalize marijuana, so, and, and this is going to be a 50-state phenomenon, mm -hmm. but I think we're at a tipping point. I think when we do this, uh, I think we take giant steps forward toward rational drug policy. And rational drug policy would be looking at drugs first as a health issue rather than a criminal justice issue. That said, just knowing what the statistics are coming out of Portugal and Holland, I think, um, you know, I think really opens people's minds. I think the reason that we're at a, at a tipping point right now so in marijuana... What statistics are you talking about that coming out of Portugal well, and Holland? Well, Holland has, has effectively decriminalized drugs. Mm -hmm. Drugs are still illegal, but they've, decrim they've effectively they've turned their back on the laws. Right. Both... Uh, Portugal, 10 years ago, decriminalized all drugs. Mm -hmm. They actually codified it. Uh, both countries have 60% the drug use as that of the United States. Now, that's on a per capita basis, mm -hmm. but that's marijuana, that's hard drugs, mm -hmm. uh, that's kids, and that's adults. Mm -hmm. Portugal, 10 years ago, did this uh, to combat what was a national heroin epidemic. And in the last 10 years, they've shown a 50% reduction in heroin use. Really, that just flies in the face of, of, of what you think would happen. I mean, it really does. And then when you look at Zurich, when you look at heroin maintenance programs, what, what we're really concerned with, in my opinion, is reducing death, disease, crime, and corruption. Well, when, you, when, you're, when I, think, I think when people hear that, yes, that's what we really want to, that's really what we want to reduce. Well, I'm, I, I believe that 90% of the drug problem is prohibition related, uh, not use related. That is not to discount the problems with use and abuse, but that should be the focus. So if we, do, if we, if we uh, legalized all drugs tomorrow, the world would be a better place, but we're not going to do that. We're not going to go from A to Z, but I think we're going to legalize marijuana, and I think when everybody wakes up and realizes the sky isn't going to fall, that it hasn't fallen, that actually the world's a better place. Police are going out and enforcing real crime. Fewer people in prison. Court dockets get cleared up. Gosh, maybe, maybe we can make some inroads into these, into these other drugs. The fact that uh, crack cocaine and uh, methamphetamine are, uh, are prohibition drugs. When I was governor of New Mexico and I came here to Portland, um, I met with judges from Portland. They wanted to have a meeting here in Portland. I didn't know what the meeting was going to be like, but about six of them show up and they said, we're here to support you. We think that what you're saying is right on and we want to share with you stories that maybe you can relate to others that will help others better understand the drug issue. They went on to say that methamphetamine really is the horrible drug. I mean, that it alters people's behavior. People do methamphetamine, they do, they do bad things. They said that methamphetamine is the best example we can think of of a prohibition drug. It's cheap and it's easy to make. And so the consequences of methamphetamine fall disparagingly on the poor. Mm -hmm. That uh, they said, we're not proposing that cocaine be legal. And these are judges from Portland. We're not proposing that cocaine be legal, but if it was, these people would have used cocaine instead of methamphetamine without the negative behavioral consequence. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I know that that's the case, but then I get back to truth. Cocaine literally puts holes in your heart. Mm -hmm. For people that use cocaine their entire lives, none of them are your and my age. They've died. They're, they're Whitney Houston. Whitney Houston is the typical cocaine user that just falls over and dies because her heart quits. That's the cocaine user. So do you really want to be using cocaine? Well, probably not, but should it be criminal?